What's going on Skid? We got a no cooling call here. You can hear it buzzing. The compressor is trying to start. Fan works. The inside works. Let's see if I can catch it buzzing. There it goes. Did you hear that? The compressor ain't starting. But the fan works. Probably going to have a bad hard start. Knock on wood. These little good ones here, this one's shorter than these. See how that one's smaller? So these little good little goodmans come with a rotary compressor instead of a Copeland scroll. If you want to see what a rotary compressor looks like, just Google rotary compressor, R-O-T-A-R-Y. The lines come in through the top instead of the bottom like on the other ones. So yeah, what happens is this hard start goes bad and the compressor won't start. It does sit out here and go burr. And a lot of times the breaker will trip inside the apartment because of this. So let's test it with the multimeter, make sure it's bad. Test the capacitor as well. When I'm done here, but I'm gonna start with the hard start because I'm pretty sure it's bad. They don't buzz like that unless this has gone out. If I can get the doggone wires off, give me a hard time. There we go. So you just pull the two wires off the terminal and then check it. I can slide it out and do it on the ground for you. That'd be even better. That's what I'll do. I'll just take the whole deal out. Got an old meter. Mine says cap right there. C-A-P for capacitor. That's how I test the hard starts and capacitors. Any other meter, it will say uh, MFD. If you got a field piece, put it on MFD for microfarads. So yeah, we just pull the terminals off of here or the wires off of these terminals here and check it anything below 100 man this thing is bad showing zero wow okay make sure my meters on there good zero wow so we'll just replace the whole deal this is called a five two one compressor saver I'll leave a link to one of these in the description below for you homeowners and a capacitor link where you can have one delivered to your house. Change this hard start out. Then we'll check the capacitor. It's real easy. Yellow's up here. It's just three wires. I always take wires off with my flathead. I got tired of pulling wires out of the terminal, so I just put it in the underneath the wire and lift up, comes right on out. Nice little tech tip. If you guys have problems jerking wires out of the out of the spade there. One on the common down there. <clears throat> and that's it. So we'll test the capacitor while we're here. Let's see, common to Herm. 
This is a 45 slash 5 capacitor. Common to Herm, 44.2. Common to Fan, 4.9. I'm going to change it out anyway. 44.2 seems not terribly low, but a little low for my comfort zone. I'm sure the on-call guy would love me for it. So I'm going to change out this capacitor as well. Trying to get this old dude out of here. I tested the new one. My new capacitor here and it tested 45.5. Always test the new stuff now because I've been burned. Put the new one in. Put the new one in right out of the box and it's bad. I'm like, God almighty skid. What is going on nowadays? So yeah, just make sure that's 45.5, yep. And this one is 45.5. I know it's a subco, can't help it, all right? Oh my God, he's using a, oh, he's using a subco. Yeah, and he uses a Roby. Oh, well, I guess I better let him know in the comment section. Let me fix this plumbing strap so this one fits in there better. It's a little skinnier. All right, Skid, got the new capacitor in there. Let's do what we came here for, the hard start. Bam, bam. Really easy fix. Great one for you new guys. I'll start labeling all these capacitor and hard start videos as uh, HVAC for beginners or something like that. Cause there's going to be a lot of them. This is a real common repair out here where I'm at. And all the low, the units that are low on refrigerant, I'll just label them HVAC for beginners, for the new guys. I was new once, I know that would have helped me tremendously. When I started there was no YouTube. I had to come out here and just blow everything up. I really struggled in my, in my early years. I had to come out here and figure everything out, tearing everything up. I was thrown to the wolves. I worked a 200 bedroom apartment complex, student housing by myself. Like three years into the job, still didn't know crap. I was one of those put it up to 70 PSI and let it ride kind of guys, you know. Didn't know superheat, didn't know subcool. This was back in R22 days. All right, let's hook it back up. So red to common, this is the hard start wires, yellow goes to Herm, and black to the contactor down here on the left side, the common side, there we go. And now we'll hook up our high voltage for the on the capacitor coming from the compressor and the fan so red to C for common purple on the common brown goes to fan just gonna be one wire and oh, where's my yellow wire for the compressor oh there it is and yellow for the compressor and that is it oh, see where is it there it is all right now I'm gonna go get a sharpie and a zip tie and write the date on the capacitor try to clean this up a little bit I'll be back all right big dog got my capacitor signed and dated Hard starts new, all cleaned up here. Let's see here. Let me check my wiring. Purple, red, common, brown, fan, yellow, herm. I think we're gonna be good. Let's see here. Come on, big money, no whammy. 
Just want to hear that compressor fire. Oh yeah. I can hear it now, fired right on up. Sounds better than burr. That's what it's been doing. I was turning my apartment up here. I got a turn up here and I was in that bedroom right there and I could hear something going burr. I said, uh oh, came on out. That's all it was, bad hard start. Let's see, where's the bad one at? If it's uh, it says 88. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. 88 to 108 microfarads. But I found out if it's around 88, it'll start popping that breaker to start buzzing. So anything below 100, I'm changing it out, big dog. And bag capacitor, all good to go. They're gonna be cooling now, no more buzzing. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Wait.